The Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission has announced that electricity tariffs are going up by 50% and then possibly 100% in February. This new tariff is expected to be effected from the second quarter of this year. Let's head over to Abuja right now where Sam Amadi, who's executive chair of the Nigeria Electricity Regulatory Commission, is standing by. Sam, thanks for your time. First, let's clarify issues. Have tariff increases been announced? Is it a 50% increase? Is it 100%? What's the timetable? Uh, in the tariff would be based on consumer classes. Uh, some consumer classes 50%, some will have less than that, and then some will have a, a larger percentage. For example, the residential class one, essentially rural dwellers uh, and those who consume minimally would have quite reduced uh, change in their tariff. Mm. But we expect that commercial uh, class and uh, some uh, high consumer in residential areas will pay quite more. Mm. So we have want to base it on how much it costs to serve each c consumer classes. Okay, how does that reflect in the pricing? Uh, newspapers suggest that for those on the higher spectrum, on the higher end, who have been paying about 50 naira per kilowatt are now going to be paying about 23. So in terms of bills for businesses and richer middle class citizens, what does that mean each month? Well, it depends on what they consume. First, let me say, right now we have an average tariff of 10 Naira. But uh, if you use the average tariff, it could come to 23 uh, Naira thereabout. We are still optimizing the assets, so there's some hope that the price, before it's announced, could go down mm. by one or two Naira. But essentially, what it means is that, is that the, cost will be, uh, the tariff will be cost reflective. And so, we hope that there will be consumption that is more conservative. Mm. People will use energy mm. uh, saving bulbs and uh, devices, mm. and therefore their bills might not be as high as it would have been. But essentially, we want to make sure that uh, those who invest in the sector recover their costs so that they can expand access right. and improve service. Consumers say they don't mind paying, but they do mind because inefficiencies are rife in the electricity distribution system. So there needs to be an improvement in how they're going to be built, how meter systems are used, um, the general infrastructure to support uh, electricity provision. You need to keep a check on the operators, they say. Absolutely. That's why uh, we have staggered the effective date of this uh, new tariff regime up to April. The idea here is that we want to, uh, we've set up a meter inquiry committee to look at all activities of metering, billing, and consumer care. We want to uh, see how much we afford co consumers with prepaid meters, and those who cannot be given prepaid meters, we will ensure that we standardize estimate billing so that there's no exploitation. Mm. We want to improve also uh, consumer service and ensure that there's more transparency in energy management. And the idea is that now that, now that consumers will pay more, they need to have assurance of better service, mm. even as we aim in the long term to increase capacity and improve distribution and lower the cost generally. Just educate us here, those of us who don't live in Nigeria. Generally, the regulators introduced a multi-year tariff increase system. How's that going to work over the next few years? Because as you said, what guides you is customer service, but also tariffs that will attract investors into the sector. Absolutely. From 2001, when the current reform started, the idea was to have a tariff methodology that allows for recovery of efficient costs and also affordable, as well as provide incentive for efficiency both on the side of operators and uh, consumers. So we have a five-year tariff uh, regime that is um, reviewed every year, but now we want to make it by, by yearly. Every six months, we review for cost of gas, we review for inflation, we review for uh, foreign exchange, mm. and sometimes our projections on, on capacity. So the idea is to ensure that in that five years, you have a stability, certainty, of the tariff that will allow you to recover your cost, as well as you have uh, expectation of six monthly reviews in case some of our projections have gone out of work with uh, the market. We do know that by about March, um, the power ministry is going to be 
reviewing and looking at tender bids for the privatization of some key transmission and distribution assets. So we'll be seeing who some of those potential investors are. This comes as a precursor. So is this the sort of pricing that investors are going to be working off of as they look at potential to invest in the energy sector in Nigeria? Sure. Uh, we've had uh, c consultations with the bidders long ago. They have access to our models and our methodology in the website. So they already know how the price is trending. And the idea of announcing the tariff by next month, even though it takes effect in mm -hmm. uh, second quarter, is to allow them to exactly know what tariff they work with once they take over the co companies after privatization. So there is no uncertainty here. They already know what the wholesale price will be. They know what the retail price will be. And all the uh, issues as to metering and as to how to reduce cost, right. uh, reduce losses, they are aware of those things. So we're working together with the bidders and already know exactly how the price will, will, will end. All right, Mr. Sam Amadia, thank you so much for your time. He's with uh, the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission.